This is example 9 from chapter quadrilateral, class 9. It says two parallel lines L and M are intersected by a transversal P. We can clearly see that this and this are two parallel lines. It is intersected by transversal P. And we have to show that the quadrilateral formed by bisectors of these interior angles forms a rectangle. That means we need to prove this figure a rectangle. Well, for that, you should also remember what are the bisectors here, the bisectors drawn here. Let me show you. Like the bisectors of these are the interior angles, right? These are the interior angles and I can see these are the bisectors. So, so the quadrilateral formed by bisectors of these interior angles is a rectangle. We need to prove this figure a rectangle. Well, what you should know that uh, in order to prove this figure a rectangle, we are actually going to prove this a parallelogram and then we'll prove one angle as 90 degree as a parallelogram whose one angle is 90 degree is a rectangle. So in order to prove this a parallelogram, we are going to use this concept of alternate interior angles. As you can see, these are alternate interior angles and they must be equal as the lines are parallel. So let's write down. We have this L given parallel to M. So we can say that and the transversal is uh, P here. So we can say that these angles, that is here the angle PAQ, this is PAQ should be equal to angle ACR. Right. As you can see, these being the alternate interior angles with respect to the line P and Q. Therefore, these are parallel and the reason is alternate interior angles. Now, let's say this angle be one and this angle, say so marking this angle as one here and this as angle two. Now, I can replace this. I can replace this with choice of angle 1 as it is a bisector therefore these two angles are equal you should know that these two angles that is this and this angles must be equal as they are bisectors so I can write I can replace this angle A with twice angle 1 and similarly I can replace this whole angle as twice of 2 as they are bisector and a bisector divides an angle into two equal parts and replacing this with twice angle two. So I can cancel this two on both sides. So what do we got? We got angle one is equal to angle two. Now see carefully that these two angles are alternate interior angles now, but this time with respect to, with respect to this and this line where AC is acting as a transversal. It's forming a kind of Z here. right? And therefore, we can say these two lines are parallel. Now, we have proved all their alternate interior angles equal. Therefore, I can write that is AB is parallel to CD. Now, once we have proved these two lines as parallel, now we'll simply need to write down. We don't need to prove it further. We can simply say that even these lines will be parallel. With the same manner, we can prove these two angles as equal and therefore these two lines as parallel. So we'll not be writing it again. We'll write similarly. We'll be simply writing similarly. We'll say that this, C, this time it is BC or CB is parallel to AD. And as you know, when you prove one pair of two pairs of opposite sides as parallel therefore it becomes a parallelogram that is a b c d is a parallelogram as i said we in the first part we'll be proving this figure as a parallelogram and then i'm going to prove one angle as 90 degrees so let's check how we can prove these angles as 90 degree so this was angle one so let it be angle one this was angle two and let me consider this angle as three now, what you can observe here that this angle, this complete angle and this complete angle, 
they are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So here I'm talking about this and this angle. These are alter, uh, these are interior angles on the same side of the transversal and interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. That means over here, this and this angle are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So they will be supplementary. So we can say here that uh, this angle, the angle named here is angle P A C plus angle A C Q. This is point Q is equal to 180 degree. Reason co interior angles. Now I can replace P A C. I can re replace angle P A C with twice angle one as it is a bisector and bisector divides into two equal angle. Similarly, I can replace angle ACQ with twice angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. I can take 2 as common. If I take 2 as common, we get angle 1 plus angle 3 and that is equal to 180 degree. Now, transposing this 2 to the other side, it is 180 over 2 that comes out to be 90 degree. So we can mark this equation, this as say equation one and this being two. And what I said, a parallelogram whose one angle is 90 degrees a rectangle. So we'll write from one and two, A, B, C, D is a, a rectangle. And the reason here you'll be writing that a parallelogram whose one angle is 90 degree is a rectangle. This is how this question can be done.